Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And in this video, I want to show you guys a boxing workout for beginners. And if you're new to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe as we're constantly posting up great tips and new ideas and they're all meant to get you into the absolute greatest shape possible. A lot of people often tell me that they don't have the time or perhaps they don't have the place or the space to get in a great workout. And in this video, we're gonna do a boxing routine for beginners that will definitely get your sweat flowing and it can be virtually done anywhere as it won't take up all that much room. You could probably even do this workout without any equipment whatsoever but I would recommend that you use hand wraps just to ensure that you don't injure those hands and I would also use a pair of gloves now they don't need to be anything fancy just something to protect your hands and to add a little bit of extra weight for this workout finally we're also going to use some focus mints and you can pick up a pair like these for around 20 bucks. And if you're unsure how to hold these guys, then I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Now, if you don't have focus mitts, then don't worry. You can use something like an exercise ball or even a thick pillow if you're at home. You could also use a second pair of boxing gloves or even your bare hands if need be. But basically you wanna use anything that won't hurt your hands and that can be used as a target. In this routine, like all of my other beginner routines, we will not use time, but instead we're gonna use a certain number of repetitions for each round. Then we're gonna rest 30 seconds in between each round. So each individual punch is gonna be considered one repetition. And the reason why I like doing that is because if you're a beginner and you feel tired, well then you could take a break for a moment and then continue throwing your punches as soon as you feel recovered without having to worry about the pressure of the clock. And it also ensures that your workouts are consistently good because you're always throwing the exact same number of shots per workout. I also wanna emphasize that the most important things are that the workouts are of course effective and as as we go along, I'm going to point out certain technical aspects to keep your joints safe and to help you maximize your effort. But don't stress over the technique too much. You just keep moving your hands and keep it light and fun. Because the most important thing is that these workouts must be fun. Your workouts are not supposed to be stressful. So don't worry too much if your technique isn't on par with Mayweather's. You just get that workout in there. You will need a partner for this routine, and that could be your gym buddy, your girlfriend, your boyfriend as the case may be, or even your kids if you happen to have them around. Anybody can do this. What you will do is complete the entire routine and then hold the targets for your partner and then have them complete the whole routine. And again, what's great about this is that you can do it anywhere. You can add it onto an existing workout if you're at the gym, or you can grab your partner and do it right in the middle of your living room. Because as you're gonna see, this routine will simply be punching in place, and so you're only going to need a few feet of available space. Anyway, enough of my yapping, and let's start with round one, the jab for 100 repetitions. And I'm going to be doing this routine with my good friend Fisk here, who's still undergoing chemotherapy for cancer, and he's been boxing to keep himself in good form while he undergoes his treatment. And so again, anybody can do this. We're not looking to break any Olympic records, but what we are looking to do is get in a great workout and have fun as we do it. For all of the punches in this routine, you will assume a proper boxing stance. And if you're not sure how to do that, I will leave a link in the description below. And we're going to throw the jab from the lead arm only for those 100 repetitions. Because I get this question in a lot of other videos. Do I jab with both arms? Well, the answer is no you're going to assume a boxing stance with your dominant hand to the rear, and you're going to jab with the lead arm only. Of course, I'm looking to get in a good workout here, but I also don't wanna break my partner's arm. So make some decent contact, but you're not trying to kill it. With the jab, we're just looking to have your arm go straight out and straight back. And I breathe out as I throw each individual shot. If I can, I try to make sure that my shoulder comes up high enough to protect my face as I throw the jab. I also snap the punch, which means that I bring it back just as quickly as I threw it out there. I'm not pushing into the target so that I hurt my wrist. I snap it, or to put it plainly, I bounce my punch off of that mitt. Here from another view, you're gonna see that I try to keep the hand that is not throwing the punch up high for defense. And here from the back, you're going to see that I try not to have my elbow out too far away from my body. It's not up high and away, but instead I keep it in, as close to my core as comfortably possible. That will ensure that I can keep most of my body weight and my momentum directly in line with my jab. Now for this routine, we're not moving around because we wanna limit the amount of space that we're going to need. And so the footwork for a jab thrown in place to generate a little power for that jab will be a slight internal rotation of the lead leg and hip. Remember to keep on breathing and keep throwing until you get to 100. And remember, if you don't have the mitts, you can use another pair of boxing gloves or even your bare hand if you had to. All you really need is a target to aim for. Sometimes with my clients in the gym, I would even opt to use an exercise ball. 
which is easy on the hands, and it's also a big target that you can't miss. And so I often like doing that. Remember to rest a full 30 seconds in between rounds. Round two will be the cross for 100 repetitions. Remember to snap your punches as best you can to save your wrists. And don't forget to breathe. Try your best to bring the shoulder that is throwing the punch up high to protect your chin as you throw your shots. As best you can, try to keep the other hand that is not throwing punches up for defense. Like the jab, the cross is a straight punch that goes straight out and straight back. And as such, try to keep your elbow in close to your core as you throw it. That will help limit fatigue and it's going to increase your power, as again you have more of your body weight and momentum directly in line with your shot. The footwork for the cross will be to push off of the floor with your rear foot to generate force to rotate your rear leg, hip, and then core. You want to transfer that rotational energy into your arm and then right into your cross as you punch the target. And once again, don't be shy to use another target besides those focus mitts. Rest 30 seconds when you're done, and then we're gonna move on. Round three, a left hook for 100 repetitions. Be mindful not to hook your partner in the face, please. So keep your eyes on that target. Once again, you wanna be snapping your punches and don't forget to breathe with every single shot. The footwork for the lead hook is an internal rotation of the lead foot leg, hip, and core. It's that rotational movement that moves your fist into the target. In fact, your arm and shoulder shouldn't be moving all that much. The harder that you can rotate your legs, hip, and core, the more powerful that your hook is going to be. If you like, you can visualize yourself squishing out a cigarette butt with your lead foot as you hook. That will ensure that you're giving your hook enough rotation. You want to keep your arm bent at about 90 degrees so that your arm resembles a fishing hook, I guess. You may feel this in your abs by the time you hit 100, as your core is really being used to throw those punches. Again, I keep repeating it, but you can use other things like the exercise ball if you don't have the focus mitts. Always remember to rest that 30 seconds after the round. Round four, the right hook for 100 repetitions. Of all of the punches, this is the one you need to pay the most attention for, as it's the punch that has the greatest potential of hitting your partner in the face. So please stay focused. Power for the rear hook comes from the rotation of your rear foot, hips, and core. The footwork for the rear hook will be to push off of the floor with your rear foot this time and rotate your rear leg, hip, and core and use that rotational energy to drive your fist into the target. As with the other punches, don't forget to breathe with every single shot. Keep the other hand up high for defense. Keep that arm bent at about 90 degrees. Don't forget to rest that 30 seconds before you continue with the next round. Round five, the left uppercut for 100 repetitions. As with all the other punches, remember to keep breathing as you keep moving your hands. Keep snapping those punches. As for the footwork, you want to use your lead leg to push off of the floor to create an upward rotation of your core, which will move your lead arm. Both the hooks and the uppercuts are actually thrown more with the rotation of your core than from any actual movement of your arm. I really like to use the exercise ball for uppercuts as it's an easy target to hit from underneath. After the round, rest that 30 seconds and then keep going. Round six, the right uppercut for 100 repetitions. By now, you're really probably starting to feel it, and that's a good thing, because of course we're having fun, but we still want to get great results here. Once again, use your rear foot to push off of the floor to create that upward rotation of your rear leg, hip, and core. Follow that rotation through with your fist right into the target. I keep saying it, but keep breathing as you keep pounding away. And as always, rest that 30 seconds at the end of the round when you're done. For round seven, we're going to do a little medley this round and we're gonna start with 20 consecutive jabs, then without resting, 20 consecutive crosses, then 20 consecutive left hooks, followed by 20 right hooks, then you guessed it, 20 left uppercuts, and we're gonna finish off the round with 20 right uppercuts, then rest for 30 seconds at the end of that round because you're going to need it. Round eight, we're going to do a sprint of 200 consecutive straight punches. These punches don't need to be thrown very hard. You just gotta keep your hands moving for 200 consecutive shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 200, and it's gonna go by fairly quickly. Try your best to make the whole 200 shots. And woo, you're gonna wanna rest at the end of that. So take that 30 seconds rest and then let's move on. Round nine, the hook sprints for 200 repetitions. Just like the last round, simply keep your hands moving. I know that you're probably really starting to hate me right now, but I promise that you will be happy once you start to see those awesome results that you'll be getting in no time. So you just hang in there for those 200 punches. When you're done, remember to rest those 30 seconds because you've earned it. Finally, round 10, the final round and that's gonna be the uppercut sprints for 200. And yes, you're almost done, so just keep moving. I know your shoulders are probably burning, but the end is in sight, so you just keep punching and keep moving. 
And oof, once you're done, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself and smile as you pass those mitts over to your partner and let them have a go for the 10 rounds. These types of workouts with a partner are great because they're fun and they're interactive. And just as important, they are effective fat destroyers. And as you've noticed, there is nothing really fancy here. It was just really simple and really effective. This can be done anywhere and it doesn't have to cost you anything. In the near future, I will be posting up some new routines, some perhaps a little more challenging and advanced than this one for you guys that are really starting to progress. And once again, I thank you for your time and I thank you for watching. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And if if you like these videos, then please click below to like or subscribe as we're constantly posting up great tips and new ideas and they're all meant to get you into the greatest shape possible.